The year is 1991, the Place, Le Mans. For 24 hours men and machines are pushed to their limits. Among the thunderous roars one car stood out, a Mazda 787B painted in blinding green and orange. It didn't roar, it screamed, a piercing wail that sliced through the French countryside. As the race wore on, the dominant Porsches, Jaguars and Mercedes began to falter. The Mazda just kept going, relentless, consistent almost annoyingly so. While others pitted for repairs the Mazda lapped them, mesmerizing the crowd and baffling the competition. The final hours were tense. Could this odd wailing machine actually win? The European giants threw everything at it but the Mazda was lighter, nimbler, and its engine refused to die. When the checkered flag fell, the Mazda 787B crossed the line first. A legend was born. It was the first and only time a Japanese manufacturer won Le Mans, and the only time a non-piston engine claimed victory. The drivers, Volker Weidler, Johnny Herbert and Bertrand Gachot, became instant heroes. The car was immortalized, but the engine was immediately put on notice. The governing bodies had seen enough. They'd witnessed a revolution, and their first instinct was to crush it. The scream was silenced, but its echo would last forever. In that moment, the Mazda 787B didn't just win a race, it changed motorsport history. The establishment was shaken, and the world had heard the future. But the future, it seemed, was too loud for comfort. The legend of the screaming Mazda was born but its days were already numbered. The giants had been toppled but the rules would soon change. The revolution had come, and the establishment was ready to fight back. So, what powered the Mazda? A rotary engine, the R26B, forget pistons. Instead of metal lumps punching up and down, the rotary uses a spinning triangle called a rotor. It glides in a smooth, continuous motion, creating three chambers for intake, compression, combustion, and exhaust, all in one rotation. The result? Fewer moving parts, less vibration, and a compact, lightweight powerhouse. The R26B had four rotors, over 700 horsepower, and was smaller than its V8 and V12 rivals. It revved past 9,000 revolutions per minute, producing that iconic banshee whale. This wasn't just a different engine, it was a different philosophy. The rotary was smoother, lighter, and more efficient. It was a masterpiece of engineering, making everything else look ancient. The Mazda's scream was the sound of pure innovation, and for one glorious day, it ruled the world. The rotary engine didn't just sound different, it gave Mazda a real edge. The R26B was lighter, so the whole car was lighter. In racing, weight is the enemy. The 787B could brake later, turn faster and accelerate harder than the competition. Its power delivery was smooth and relentless, no sudden surges, just a constant push. The car was easier to drive at the limit, especially in tough conditions. Reliability? The rotary just kept spinning, with fewer parts to brake. After 24 hours, Mazda's engine was still perfect, it could have gone another day. Even fuel efficiency was on Mazda's side thanks to the rules and the engine's high RPM efficiency. Fewer pit stops meant more time on track. The 787B was the perfect stormlight, reliable, efficient, and fast. It wasn't just an advantage it was checkmate, the competition never stood a chance. The rotary had rewritten the rules. Success breeds jealousy, and Mazda's win was no exception. The European giants, Porsche, Mercedes, Jaguar were not amused. Whispers spread. The rotary's displacement formula was unfair, giving Mazda an advantage. Complaints piled up. Calls for more weight, less fuel, anything to slow the Mazda down. Some even claimed the engine's scream was a safety hazard. Too loud, too distracting. It was nonsense, but desperation was setting in. The real issue? Mazda's victory threatened the established order. The big brands couldn't sell rotary engines and Mazda's win made their tech look outdated. The pressure on the FIA was immense, a storm of technical complaints and corporate lobbying. The rotary hadn't just won a race it had poked the pride of European motorsport. The officials at the FIA acted quickly. They wanted stability, not disruption. The Mazda 787B's victory was seen as a problem, not a triumph. The solution? Change the rules. Ban rotary engines outright. The new formula required only piston engines locking out Mazda's innovation. The justification was bland. Align with Formula One, control costs, attract manufacturers. But the real reason was clear. The rotary was too good, too different. Mazda was legislated out of contention, punished for daring to innovate. The team was heartbroken. Fans saw it as protectionism. The message was chilling. Don't be too clever. Don't upset the order. 
The band wasn't technical, it was political. Sometimes being the best is the worst thing you can be. The Rotary's fate was sealed, not by failure but by fear. The band's impact was immediate and devastating. The 1992 season was a disaster. Grids shrank, costs soared, and teams left. The World Sports Car Championship collapsed within two years. Innovation was stifled. Rules became ever more restrictive. The wild days of Le Mans were over. Now it was all about playing by the book. Mazda's 787B became a legend, but their racing ambitions faded. The rotary engine's development stalled without a proving ground. The band didn't just end a racing era, it killed a branch of automotive evolution. We never saw what the rotary could have become. Motorsport was poorer for its absence. Could a rotary win Le Mans again? Not likely. Today's rules leave no room for such radical ideas. Balance of performance ensures no one tech dominates. The rotary's brilliance was its difference, and that's exactly what's not allowed now. But its legacy endures, a symbol of creative engineering and underdog triumph. The 787B proved there's more than one way to win. Mazda still experiments with rotaries but only in niche roles. Maybe one day the rules will change and innovation will return. Until then, the legend of the screaming Mazda haunts the track and inspires dreamers everywhere. The men in blazers may have banned the engine but they could never silence the idea.